On April 21, 2022, Austell police responded to an incident at Joe's Bottle Shop liquor store, where a disruptive customer was causing chaos and attempting to engage in a physical altercation with an employee in Austell, Georgia. Upon arrival, officers encountered a female suspect outside the store who immediately claimed that a white male employee had assaulted her. According to her account, the dispute arose over a minor cash advance fee, escalating into a verbal altercation that turned physical when she confronted the employee behind the counter. Baby, come here. Step over here. What's going on? Why are you bleeding? Because he just hit me. Which one hit you? The and white why? dude in there. Well, I haven't been inside, so I don't know which white dude. I don't know his name. He's in there. Well, the guy's insurance all picked up. Yeah, because he hit me. Okay, well, calm down. We'll figure out what's going on, okay? I, he, I called him a, he called me a bitch. I walked back there, and he swung on me. You want to walk back where? Back there. Behind the counter? Yes. Okay. What'd you go behind the counter for? Because I was like, what you call me? Oh, back up. Don't, I'm just don't, trying to show okay. you. I'm not but doing anything you, to you. Don't get in my face. Oh, my God. Well, when you want to go talk to him, I'll handle her. trying to show y'all what happened. What? Show me. No, because then clear. you go say the same thing to you. No, I'm not. Calm down. Take a few deep breaths and we'll talk, okay? I can't. My fucking heart is racing. Take some breaths. Do you need medical attention? No. I walked up here. Okay. I come up here all the time to get cash back on my car. Okay. He told me it was going to be $4. I said, that's not what he said. That's not how much they charge. Who said that? And he said, the dude over there, I said, where he at? He was like, he over there. I said, okay, can you tell him to come over here? No, you can go over there. So I stood right there. And then the dude behind him said, no, charge her $2. Now do $3. And I'm like, okay, what you say? It was $3, not $4, right? He was just like, okay, you want to go talk to him? Go over there. I'm like, okay, I'm not going nowhere. I stood right here. And so he got the next person in line. And then. Take your time. So then the dude said he was going to charge me $2 to get cash back. I said, okay. He, the dude, the little Indian dude gave me the cash back. Oh, he got somebody to give me cash back. And then the black dude was like, are you all right? I was like, no. Said, if that was somebody else. I would have spit on, I mean, if that was me back in my old days, I would have spit on his ass. He was like, who the f you spit on? So I walked back there and he swung on me. Because I walked back there and I said, who the f you calling a bitch? After he swung on you, what happened? We started fighting. Okay. Do you see my face? I do see your face. That's him swinging on you. I just. And I just sitting there letting that boy punch me. You have your ID, man. Oh. What's your first name, ma'am? Andrew. You live nearby, I guess, since you walked up here? I'm going to get a couple of pictures of your face if you don't mind. I don't want to take no pictures. I don't want to press no charges. I just want to go home. So you do not wish to be a victim? No. I just want to go home. Okay. So listen, I just want to ask again. You don't need medical attention, correct? Do you need any medical attention for anything? I've asked her several times. Back home. How old your son? He's nine. Is there anybody else playing? Is there anybody else at the house or just him? No, just him.
However, as officers delved deeper into the incident, a different narrative emerged from the store employees. According to their version, the female suspect initiated the violence by attempting to strike the employee, who was forced to defend himself. The situation escalated further when she seized bottles from the shelves, using them as weapons while threatening the employee with the involvement of her brother. Let me, uh, let me brief to tell you first. She won $140 on the credit card. He said it's going to be a $4 and then turn around 90 cents in credit card company charge. Then I was another register, right? And she said, no, because I'll come here, dear, blah, blah, blah. She was running a mile. I said, okay, how about that? $3 charge it and 99 cents automatically going to come for the credit card. She said, no, that one, I'll come with you all the time and everything. I said, ma'am, what do you want me to do then? Well, okay, what about $2, right? And the 99 cents, she said, okay, and blah. And he just said, was saying to ma'am, can you move over there since you're talking? I got to get as a customer. I got to get as a customer. She said, no, I'm not going to move. Then I said, John, don't worry about it. You go another car and let me handle it, all right? Then I told her two dollar, and that will be two dollar, and I didn't say. Then I move him a deal, otherwise, and I told her that guy Abdul, go ahead, charge only two dollar, right? And I didn't say. She got it. Okay, fine. Then she was live moving. She was cussing him out, cussing him. Obviously, word come from him too, and the word oh, come from out of that. She said. I don't know what was she was saying, piss you on that one, and then she said, he called the name too, and she come right there behind the counter, what do you told me? And she turned around and pushed around and hit her, and after that, we tried to behold him too, because he just turned around and started to hurt him too, but when it was she, started. That's what I thought that one was. I was trying to push her off me. She, Wait, kept swinging. she was keep swinging. Well, she threw, she, how far did she come behind? Up behind the oh, deer. Oh, down to, uh, about Oh, yeah. Charlie, Charlie, Lima, Echo, she was, she November, was, Delta, like Oscar, November, Next time McClendon, have a spit on your ass. first name is Alpha, November, Delta, Romeo, Echo, uh, Alpha. She hit me first. She come behind the counter and hit it right up first. Face, I think, I mean, she tried to hit me a lot. She and then she threw a bottle. Two bottles. Two bottles. She threw two bottles. She, 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 she got ten with one of them. Hit ten? Yep. She hit ten with one of them. On the back. And we tried to be get her out. We were getting out from her, from him. Are you, able to, out are you was, able to pull the cameras up on her? Yeah. You, okay. it, you know how to do it? No, no, I, I ain't got a clue. He can do it. Okay. <coughs> she's I'm sending my brother to. Tim, you can help off with what ball? Yeah. Where at? Good. Did the bottle bust? No. She's got one. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Gatner? Uh, I'm trying to watch the video right now. <clears throat> she, uh, she just wants to go home, doesn't wish to be a victim, won't let me take pictures of her face. Probably 10 of 10. Both? Uh, I'm not looking that way right now, no. Okay. So. Once you got the video up yet? No, uh, he's at work today. That's all I want to discuss. Okay. All right. Let's go. She threw the phone to the head. It took me a second. What did she do? Phone call. My phone. She threw the air phone? Yeah. From yeah. over there? Yeah. Did yeah. you get that? Yeah. yeah. What the she went thing? God, man, well and yeah, my you know? phone's okay. <clears throat> She's really well and good. She had that thing? Yep. Yeah. Here's a piece of the glass. Okay, I'll see. Okay. She was not. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, seen everybody know what she did. Alright, pull the video for me, please. Yeah. There's a lot you need any medical attention for anything? No, I mean, if you got peroxide or something, I don't have any here. Right. All we can do, man, is have the fire department come no, look at you. No, I'm not worried about that. Okay. Let me get a picture of you. Let me get a picture of your hand while you're, uh, while yes. you're doing that. So, with just his hand, right? Yeah. 
Jeff hit. All right. How'd that happen? Uh, it's probably when she was throwing stuff, swinging stuff. I don't know how that happened. Or when she she fell. I was trying to push her off me. Yeah. I don't have any like cuts or anything on the side of my face, do I? Appreciate it. Just a small nick on your forehead. Yeah, I know that. I'm not going to press charges if she doesn't press that. charges. I will. You what now? I'm not pressing any charges unless she yeah. wants to pursue anything. You don't want to be a victim in this case? Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to be a victim in this case? Well, Joe's is a victim already. Like, she broke his mirror. Yeah. She threw your phone. I mean, if she came behind your counter. It'd be crazy not to charge yeah, her for this. She hit two other people with a bottle, so. What bottles did she hit them with? Tangeray. Which one? Tangeray. You know what size? Yeah, the uh, dispatcher said he got called at 735. No, she picked up, she grabbed yeah. two. She grabbed Accurate. one oh, yeah. while Tim was keeping us apart. Well, she keeping her off me, really. And uh, then, uh, went to throw one. Tim not, uh, Basically, Tim knocked out of her hand when he was turned away. She Should swung one up here. Uh, I to the right of the time because it goes like 10 minutes. Oh, and she made a comment about, oh, I'll have my brothers come up here and beat your ass, and this, that, and the other thing. Does this thing do audio, by chance? I don't think it does audio. It doesn't do audio, right? Hey, Video footage reviewed by the officers corroborated the employee's account of the events. Yeah, yeah, they said she was trying to hit, or trying to hit him in the head. Yeah, yeah. She tried to hit him in the head. She didn't hit him in the head, but she got you. Ridiculous. She hit him on the elbow. Hmm. Man, I mean, I was lucky. College football career, huh? I, I was lucky not to get hit in the head, but. No, really. Can, um, <clears throat> can, can y'all do me a favor and um, sometime tonight get a recording of this? And if there's a camera angle that catches that over there, recording of that too? Thank y'all. And she's she's definitely going to jail. So. Come back in. Despite the evidence, the suspect vehemently insisted that she had only gone behind the counter to confront the employee and claimed self-defense. How far away is he? I don't know. I can call them off my phone. 
She was subsequently arrested and charged with simple assault, simple battery, and criminal trespass with property damage under $500. As her brother arrived to pick up her vehicle, tensions flared, leading to a heated argument with officers, resulting in the towing of the vehicle. At least an assault against the victim. She also took two of the bottles off of the shell. Picked up a bottle, tried to hit him in the head, and ended up hitting another. It ain't no, it ain't no. You way. wasn't here in your clue. I'm just trying to figure out what's I'm going on, man. You, you talking happened. crazy. I'm just trying Don't to figure out what's going on. Don't run your mouth to me. I'm just trying you to figure know. out what's going on. I'll put you in there and take you I'm in. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Get the car and go. Get the car and leave. I'm not doing anything Get in the car and leave. There you go. LT. LT, LT, LT. Going to jail. Do you understand I, 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 I that? I didn't say no cuss word. Say it again. I said no cuss word. Say it at again. All. Get your car and go. I said no cuss word. I said no cuss word at all, sir. Get your car and go. You being real, this is a public property, though. Part of the business. I'm, I'm okay. telling you to LT. leave. Okay. Right. LT. Record all you want. I'm leaving. Leave. You being real aggressive with me, sir. 85 the car. You being real aggressive with me. No reason. Leave the prison. being real aggressive with me. Leave the prison. I will show my lawyer. I will show my lawyer this, too. Call it, but leave right now. Yeah, eight dollars. Whatever her car is. Is that not it? That's why he drove down in there. Not to be discussed. Thank y'all. Have a good day. Hey, which car is yours? Where at? Which one? Rebel right there? Yeah. Y'all do? Yes. Okay, I'm asking. I'm just clarifying. Hold on. It's hot. Can you take my jacket off? I can't. Do you want an 85? Yes, sir. All right. Radio 1028. For that. <coughs> Adding an unexpected twist to the unfolding drama, another friend later approached officers seeking information about the car retrieval process. However, the situation took a dangerous turn when upon exiting the vehicle, he inadvertently dropped a firearm, creating a moment of heightened tension and concern for everyone involved. You're good. That red right car. I mean, you already got a load to take off. Right, What's up, man? How can I help you? Don't fing touch that, dude. What can we do to reduce It's just gonna. That's a. That's a whole lot of. What the fuck? I'm mind boggled right now. Give me a second to recollect my thoughts. Mind unlocking this door for me? Yeah. <laughs> what do we gotta do to get a release on the car? The owner of it needs to come up to the PD and get the release for him. Okay. Luckily, I'm of a cool head. Right. You literally just open a door with a Glock in your lap to a cop. Think about that. Right. Think about it. That's probably not too smart on a normal day to day basis. But I'm of cool sound mind. I appreciate it. That's that. me though. I appreciate that. I tried out to make it happen. So what I did is I took everything out so I feel safe. I understand. Have a good day. You as well.